Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Jorge. Hi, Mario. How are you today? I am fine. Excellent. Nice to see you. And uh, how are you doing, Esmeralda? It's always nice to see you. Hey, Good evening. Good evening. I like your watch. Thank you. It looks nice. Yes. <laughs> and I like your uh, hat, your cab, uh, Jorge. You look very young. <laughs> I am young teacher. Oh, you're young. Yes, yes, you're young. You look younger. <clears throat> I had 24, but I I I I am young in my spirit. <laughs> okay, you are 24. Sorry, 22. Uh, uh, 42. Oh, 42. Oh, I had 22. Okay. Very good. Yeah. And, and Jonathan, how are you today? <clears throat> I'm fine, teacher. I'm here again. <laughs> Excellent. Nice to see you. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Okay. We miss you yesterday. What happened yesterday? Uh, I can't entry in the meeting. Oh, you couldn't. You couldn't uh, log in. Yes, I couldn't. Oh, okay. Maybe you didn't have the right information, huh? Yes. Today, um, I can entry because because as the send me again the, uh, okay that... the link they sent you again the link yes, teacher. yes. Uh, the personnel of the english corporate sent the the message today no yesterday the, the right thing is sent yesterday in the afternoon oh my goodness so that's the reason. Okay, so we, we were like a, a little bit late, a day late. Así que, profe, tengan en consideración aquellos que no se pudieron conectar y que no recibieron el mensaje, porque es, el día de ayer les va a tocar como falta, y no es que no quisieran faltar, sino que tal vez fue ahí, ¿verdad? Aunque hubieron medios en que los mandaron, okay. hay unos que dicen que no les mandaron los mensajes. Yeah, maybe they didn't receive the, the message, but uh, yes, um, I'm sorry about that uh, that uh, inconvenience. Lo siento mucho, Jonathan, for ese inconveniente, okay? But uh, you, no are, you are still on time, and uh, welcome. Yes, to us. So it's Mario too. All right, yesterday, uh, Jonathan and Mario, we were talking about uh, a very important uh, uh, a uh, part of the English language, which was the uh, uh, infinity verbs and the collocation of the infinity verbs. Where do we place the infinity verbs and why do we place them? And the reason why we use them. Yesterday, we were talking about that. And I think it was a, a, a great uh, class and, and a great information that everybody got yesterday. And I hope that uh, it was uh, uh, something that uh, you were waiting for, you know, something new to learn. And every day we are learning new things. And today we are going to be talking about core values and companies' culture. And um, also we are going to be listening to some of your uh, classmates talking about uh, a mission and vision, because uh, we were talking about mission and vision uh, yesterday. And uh, we said that the mission is uh, uh, the reason why a company exists. And the vision is uh, where the company wants to be placed or where uh, the company wants to be in the future. So that's the vision. And the mission is the reason why the company exists. Okay, those were the topics that uh, we were talking about uh, yesterday. Very interesting topics. So um, I recommend you to uh, watch the video. So you can uh, update yourself, okay? Okay. All right, very good. And uh, um, I want to hear what uh, Jorge Alberto have to say about the uh, mission and the vision of the company. Sorry, teacher, I don't do the homework. <laughs> you didn't do your homework. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sorry, it's because I stay all day in the East, in the Seguro Social, okay. because uh, 
my my leg hurts. Oh, my my leg. <laughs> like. Okay. okay, very good. Okay, not a problem. And uh, okay, Esmeralda. Ah, Esmeralda tiene la mano así. Y cuando ella tiene la mano así, algo pasa. Something happens. Como no me preguntes, no me preguntes, porque igual estoy igual que Jorge. Somos las de la esquina ahorita de no hacer tareas. ¿Se fue, el, se fue el seguro también? Sí, tuve cita hoy en el seguro y toda la tarde pasaba haciendo exámenes, porque estamos en exámenes finales ya con los niños de final de año, ya la otra mm, semana. Sí, Entonces sí. mi trabajo es una locura, pero voy a hacerla, teacher. La voy a hacer ahorita, ¿no? Ok. No, 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 ahorita no, ahorita no, ahorita no, tenemos no tengo que poner atención. Otra cosa que hacer, sí, pero habían dos, uh, dos uh, uh, homework, uno era uh, eh, hacer la oración acerca de study English and the reason why we are studying English, y la otra era mission and mission statement. Uh, ¿Hicieron alguna de las dos tareas? La de Why Study English. Why Study English. Uh -huh. Why Study English. Um, I study English in order to have more opportunities in my job. Okay. Okay. I can, yeah, yeah, very good. Entonces, usamos in order to. In order to, usamos uh, en frente del uh, infinitive verb para hacerlo más formal. Eh, Podemos esta, solo decir, I study English uh, because uh, I, want to, um, I want to get uh, better in my life. Pero in order to, es uh, algo que le adherimos nosotros a la oración para hacerlo más formal. So, the reason why we are the, doing something. So, studying English and the reason why is because she wants to uh, you know, get ahead in life. Very good. Excellent. Esmeralda. Jorge? Tampoco hizo esa. No, teacher. I oh my goodness, Jorge. My, my home in uh, bueno, vine a mi casa casi hace una hora y me dediqué a cenar, les soy sincero. Ok, 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 nada problem. Ok, vamos a escuchar entonces a César Menfredi. Servillo. Hey, good evening, everyone. Um, good evening, César. Uh, the first uh, homework. Uh, why? Why why you study English? Mm -hmm. well, in, my, in my case, I I decided to study English to have another job, and I decided to study English um, to go a trip to USA. Okay, to go and visit the USA. Okay, entonces you have to say USA. Here I come. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, <there we> go. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, uh, good job. And now, the, can I have what a mission and a vision is? Uh, it's about the, the company uh, in, my, in my job. No, lo que, iba, lo que iba a escribir, sí. Um, you were going to write a mission and a vision statement. It, it wasn't, it, it didn't matter if it was about the company or it was about your life or anything that you want to write a mission and a vision <laughs> statement. So. Because, because I have, I have the, the mission, the mission and vision statement of my company. Yeah, yeah, we can, you can, you can do that. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, the mission is, uh, uh, the mission is uh, we are the corporation focus on improving improving the quality quality of life in the nutrition of people through to development of efficient food and efficient food and vision uh, and the vision uh, is to be to be the to be the leading, leading Central America and Caribbean regional corporation in the in the production and and using I don't remember the the, the others. <laughs> yeah. 
they they are they are they are uh, vision yes okay okay mm -hmm. so why do you exist excuse me why do you what does why does your company exist uh Mm. Vamos a ver si entendí bien. Uh, the company is about uh, uh, alimentos more. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, it's a, a, a factory uh, the food uh, for, for animals. Uh, food for animals. Okay. A chicken, cow, and horse, pig, can, and the others. Only that. Oh, okay. So you sell the, um, like, um, you exist because uh, you want uh, the animals to be healthier? Um. Bueno, no, en español eh, se procura poner los mejores estándares para, para, la, por, para la alimentación eh, adecuada lo, para los animales, porque al final es un beneficio para el, para el consumo humano. Sí, uh -huh, correcto. Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. sí. Oh. Ask me qu other question. Okay. Yes. No, it's a joke. It's a joke. In the vision, you say that you uh, you are expecting or you you are projecting yourself or your business to be the leader in uh, Central America. So you want to go international, or you want to be the uh, the best uh, company that sells uh, 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 food, uh, animal food. The vision is uh, focused uh, to be leading Central America and Caribbean regi re regional. Okay. Regional. Regional. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's 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 the vision. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Me hubiera gustado que hubieras escrito una visión y una y una mission porque más o menos I think you know. You know, you know how the mission statement have to be written and how the vision statement have to be uh, stated. Me hubiera gustado que hubieras escrito algo. Me hubiera dedicado unos 10 minutos a escribir algo para, para decirte más o menos tener una idea y concentrarte en, en why do we exist y también where ah, okay. do we want to be. Porque be okay. the leader, be the leader of the, uh, uh, you know, in the region of Central America está bien general sí ah, líder pero eh, es a uh, uh, de um, todavía leading Central America and Caribbean regional corporation in the sustainable sustainable mm -hmm. production of specialized food specializes using food. specializes specializes specialized food uh, using world standard technology Okay, yeah, you have an idea what uh, we're looking for. Very good, excellent, good job, good job, uh, Cesar. And uh, Gomez, can can I have uh, your homework? Teacher, tengo un problemita ahorita. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. All right, didn't problem. Okay. And uh, eh, Carlos Rosales, Maria Jesus, uh, Imer Alberto, Edgar Pineda, Eric Linares, y Dennis Ramos. Eh, eh, estoy revisando la tarea. Yes, no puedo hablar. Hay mucho ruido. Okay. Eh, Jacobo de Jesús, no, yes, hay mucho ruido, ok. Ok, entonces, uh, y vamos a hablar acerca de values. Uh, ¿Quién me puede decir what is a value? Uh, 
I'm gonna share the screen with you guys. And uh, we are going to be talking about uh, values today and a culture culture for a company. Uh, company's culture. Yes. Uh, no sé si serán los valores que la empresa tiene, con qué fundamentos éticos realiza su trabajo, a eso se refiere, ¿verdad? Yes, ajá, uh -huh. values, yes. Es el companies, companies values. Companies. Uh, companies values, yeah. Entonces, uh, esto, eh, when, when we said, when we talk about companies values, the company's values uh, are uh, the core for the mission statement. Eh, son son la, la columna, lo más principal para un mission statement, porque un mission statement está basado en los core values. Pero before we talk about core values, we're going to be talking about uh, company's values. Por ejemplo, un una value de una comp company sería eh, efficiency. Efficiency. Efficiency, yeah. Com commitment. Yes, efficiency sería una, una, un value, ¿verdad? Un valor de, de, de una compañía. ¿Por qué? Porque si, um, if we are efficient, uh, uh, then uh, we will be offering uh, better products, better services, yes. And uh, ca uh, customers will be uh, uh, happy dealing with us having business with us, efficiency. Uh, we have another one that innovation, innovation. Innovation is another value that companies uh, uh, wants to uh, like uh, force within the company. Because what happened? Commitment. To, hmm? What happened to a company that uh, it doesn't innovate? Innovation is like, uh, you know, uh, having new things uh, all the time uh, or improving uh, products, like in the case of Cesar, the, he sells uh, products for animals. What if he doesn't update his products? What if he doesn't update the chemicals that he's selling? So innovation is a very important. What about if he doesn't, if, if he doesn't use computers uh, at his work? You know, every time uh, customers come to his work and uh, I'm, Oh my God, I forgot that you ordered uh, 200 pounds of this, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, this, uh, this food uh, for, for cows. And uh, if, you, if you have a computer, that would be something that, uh, you know, you will not forget because it will be uh, in, your com in your computer. So that is kind of an innovation. Or if you're afraid to uh, use a, a different uh, phone system, you're not innovating. So that's uh, something that companies uh, bet a lot on innovation. Um, also, they, they, they like to have respect. Respect. Uh, that's a value that companies uh, uh, wants to have. They want to respect customers. Um, they want to be punctual. Yeah, they want to be punctual. If you tell a customer that uh, they will be receiving the, 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 the food uh, in, uh, on Saturday, food must be there on Saturday. If you don't bring that food on Saturday and, and you showed up on Monday, then customer is not gonna be happy. And you are not gonna be a happy camper because uh, if your customer doesn't uh, purchase your products, then you lose money. Yeah, so punctuality is another one. Service to others, service to others. Mm. So there are other um, um, core values, a lot of core values or values within the company that uh, uh, you know, different uh, values the company will uh, be uh, practicing like uh, integrity, integrity. Mm. It's a, it's a very good one. The other one is loyalty. Loyalty. Responsibility. Hmm? Respons responsibility. Proactivity. Hmm? Proactivity. Hmm. 
Yeah, be a, ahead of the game. Proactivity, be ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. Confidence. Confidence, yes, confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. Respect, yeah, we have respect. Mm -hmm. So this is this. these are values that the company, the, they practice these values, yeah. And these are the basis for the company's mission statement. Because every time you talk about the mission statement, you are including the company's values. So yesterday we were talking about uh, how important it's for an employee to uh, be aware of the mission statements for a company, be aware of the vision of the company. It's very important because if you're not uh, uh, in the same page, on the same page with your company's mission and vision statement, then you will be doing business uh, in a different way. Yes. You will not be uh, a, you know, an efficient employee. And that's the reason why you, you might be laid off or be fired. So the values of the companies are very important. And each value has uh, the reason uh, why they, they take an, into consideration that uh, value. So a core value is the, 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 value, the most important value of the company. For example, out of these uh, uh, values that we have, which one do you think uh, will be a, a core value for the Cesar's company? Uh, the, uh, the values, uh, the company values uh, uh, are real, uh, re reliability. Real reliability. Re reliability. Yeah, reliability. Okay. Yeah, reliability. Yes. Transparency. Transference. Transparency. Transparency. Ah, transparency. Transparency. Yeah, transparency. Yes. Commin commin commitment 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 yes commitment yeah commitment be committed yes uh, creativity and proactivity creativity yes and the proactivity yeah okay in uh, creativity and uh, uh, transparency, transparency, reliability, commitment, and creativity. And uh, what is, uh, uh, why creativity is very important uh, for a company to have it as a core value, uh, Cesar? Uh, the, crea the creativity is important because uh, we, we have a uh, uh, found uh, the, the many solutions uh, and products uh, the, and, and use the, uh, the in use the technology um, for the the create the, the food. Yeah. So in uh, when you when you hire um, who is the one in charge of hiring people at your company, Cesar? Excuse me, uh, can you repeat? Please? Yes, who, who is in charge of hiring people at your company? The, uh, sorry, teacher, uh, there is a, a word I don't understand. Uh, uh, church? You okay. say church. In charge. Church, yeah, in charge. Ah, charge. In charge, yes. Who is in charge, who, who is responsible of hiring people at your company? Hmm. Hire. What, what, what mean hire? 
teacher. Hiring people is uh, uh, contratando personas. Sí. Contratando. Uh, who is in charge of, or who is responsible of, uh, in hiring uh, people at your company? Okay. Uh, in hire and charging hire is uh, the department. Uh, uh, Human resources? Human resources, uh huh? Human resources, or? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's important for the people in human resources to have a, 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 a clear understanding of uh, about re reliability, transparency, commitment, and creativity. Because based on these uh, core values that you have in your company, they're going to be asking uh, interview questions, yes, uh, uh, to a person, mm -hmm. yeah, to find out if, is a, if uh, the candidate is a good match for your company. Because remember, um, everybody has to abide by your uh, uh, core values of your company. Mm -hmm. So it's very important mm -hmm. that uh, every time there is, a, there is an interview, these uh, five uh, values, uh, confidence, reliability, transparency, commitment, and creativity, be part of the uh, hiring process. So mm -hmm. that's the reason why it, it is important. Okay, very good, excellent. So that is what uh, uh, values uh, for the companies are, and that's, uh, what we call core values of the company. Every company has uh, uh, their own, uh, uh, its own uh, core values because that's how they, uh, they make business with people. And that's how they ask uh, their employees to behave according to their core values, okay? Some of them, they have like a honesty as a core value. Honesty is a very a good one. And I like uh, the, the one that he has uh, as a core value, that uh, a creativity, that's a very good one because uh, a person who is cre creative, he, he can do a lot of things with uh, uh, small resources, yeah? Or he can be creative doing his or her job with uh, restrictions like in a budget. Yeah, they don't need to, too much money. They don't need to, too much uh, um, company's resources to do their job. So creativity is a very good one. It's a good value that companies uh, rely on it. So remember that. Um, hello, Maria Jesus, how are you today? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Can you tell me what your mission and your vision statement is? Oh. <laughs> No, I don't do it. You didn't do it. Okay. Okay. Sorry. And what about the other one? The uh, why do you study English? Any. <laughs> no? No teacher. Sorry. Okay. Excuse ah. me again. <laughs> okay. Entonces, cuando sus empleados le digan, no, no lo hice, no se va a enojar. Se me no, se María, me no, pero, pero María rato, Jesús, no lo hice, le va a decir, no se va a enojar, acuérdese lo que le estoy diciendo. Me no, pero, y Esmeralda pero también pasa. se va a enojar cuando el niño, cuando el niño le diga, cuando el niño dice la tarea, ah, ¿por qué no la hizo? Acuérdese, Esmeralda, no le va a decir, no, ¿por qué no la hizo? No diga, tranquilo, hijo, mañana me la trae. Yeah. Very good, excelente. Ok, uh, Wilfredo Luna. Hello, Mr. Machuca. Hey, good evening, sir. How are you today? I'm fine, but I'm sorry, I'm late. I have a, a little problem, but I'm ready. Okay. okay, no hay nada que un mission, a new vision statement no pueda arreglar. ¿Cuál es su mission and su vision statement? Uh, okay, let me read it for you. Okay, um, thank you. Ya vio, ya estuvo, ya se arregló todo. No se preocupe. <laughs> okay, personal mission statement. Okay. My mission statement is to study hard every day in order to learn English and have the opportunity to talk to another people in another country. And of course, to have a good communication with them. Okay. This is my mission statement and my vision statement uh, by acquiring a new language 
it is important to apply the knowledge and try to communicate the best way that can be possible with other. Okay. Okay. And now let me ask a question. Very good. Good job. Good job. Now let me ask a question. Why do you exist? Uh, there are many reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you are trying to ask me about the the the, the work mm -hmm. or I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, because it has it's it's related to the the work you you you're showing me. Because your work is good, but uh, we have to we have to uh, be oriented to what a mission statement is. So why do you exist? Why do you okay. think you exist? Mm, for many reasons. Uh, for example. Uh, I want to be a a, a better a, a, a better person. Uh, I want to improve uh, many things in myself. Uh, for example, uh, I want to be better uh, in English. I want to be better a better worker. Uh, I want to be. Uh, I want to do the, the the things the best thing the best way I. I can, I can make it. Okay. Uh, that's uh, uh, that's are some reasons. Uh, some reasons. Okay. And uh, let me ask a question. Uh, are you married? No, yet, teacher. Not yet. Okay. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I have. Okay. And uh, do you think you exist because you want to make your girlfriend? You want, make, girl. you want yeah. to make your girlfriend? You you girl, you want the girlfriend to be happy? The uh, that is uh, a reason uh, okay. for the future. Okay. For the future, for example, uh, I want to be married uh, in one or two years, uh, maybe. Okay. And that can be another reason, teacher. Okay, so so we can we can make a, a mission statement out of that. Yes, the reason why uh, I I am I exist is because uh, I am the person who is going to make uh, a person happy. In this case, my future wife will be happy when I marry her. So I want to be the best husband ever by preparing myself so I will get a good job so I can uh, uh, go and travel around the world with my wife. So that's the reason I exist. In the vision statement, Seria, in in five years from now, I want to be able to uh, have our own, we want to be able to have our own house. Um, I want to have my own car. Uh, probably uh, I, I am expecting to have a baby in five years after we get married. So that's my vision. See, esa sería su visión. See, where do you want to be in the future? ¿Qué es lo que tiene que tener? Una house, un carro, una familia, yes. Y ahorita su mission statement es usted existe porque Dios lo, le puso en su camino a su esposa y usted la va a hacer feliz a ella. Esa es la razón por la cual usted existe y por eso está trabajando. Entonces, una mission statement es the reason why a company exists. ¿Por qué es que existe? ¿Qué es lo que quiere lograr? ¿Qué es lo que quiere improve? Yes. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que quiere hacer en la vida? Por eso, entonces, basado en eso, ahora, ¿cuáles son los values que se tiene para eso? You have to be honest, ¿verdad? Tiene que ser honest, tiene que ser loyal. Loyal. Que, yes, very good. Esos son los, los values, esos valores lo hacen a usted y eh, que vayan de acuerdo con su mission statement. Porque si, ¿qué si usted no es honest, una honest person? Y usted dice, oh, I want to make my wife happy. Pero usted no es un honest person. Entonces, you're not going to make her happy. You, you will make nobody happy. Lo que va a traer es, es dolor. Yeah. Entonces, entonces, sus core values no irían de acuerdo a su mission statement. I don't know if, if you're if following me. Yeah. Pero ese es, yes, una yes, mission, ese es una mission statement. Yeah. Usted dice the reason why you exist in any, in any occasion, in any, in any scenario. He said, I exist because of this. 
And this is my mission statement. And my values are this. And, and that's it. That's, that's very good. Uh, eh, me gusta su, su, lo que escribió usted. Porque es, es algo de, eh, de sus core values. ¿sí? Sus yes, core but values. I write it about the, the studies. And it, it must be about my, my life, my, uh, my environment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why do you exist? Yes, ¿qué es lo que quiere probar? Por ejemplo, podría haberlo dicho de, de como hijo. Yeah. Why do yeah. I exist? Because um, I want to, uh, I, I will take care of my parents. Yes, my I will, yeah. yes, I will, I will support them. The reason I, I exist is because I will support them. I will help them. I will do what they did to me. Eso es the mission, porque existe, yes. Eso es, eso es, no sé, su long-term vision, o sea, su vision statement, it will be like, uh, um, if, and, uh, whenever they are, uh, like, they are, they can move anymore, I will, I will put them, uh, at somebody who take care of them, and uh, they don't have to worry about cooking, uh, washing their clothes, uh, esa es una visión, yes, una vision statement or do it by, by myself it can be a possibility that it can be yes a vision statement i will be taking care of them yes uh personally i will be taking care of them and sería como una mission statement yeah, yeah. and vision okay very good but i understand the journey is very good Thank it's you. good yes yes i i think this is this is a good uh, um um information that we are learning over here because uh, we uh, we are not only learning English but we are preparing ourselves for the future I think so okay very good excellent now uh, Dennis how are you today sir uh, good evening teacher yes. uh, sorry I didn't my homework you didn't do your homework okay eh, none of them, um, teníamos dos, two homeworks, ¿verdad? Uno era, eh, I study English because the reason why you study English. Y la otra era mission and mission statement. Eh, bueno, no, no pude hacer ninguna dicha. Ninguna. No ok, ok, ok. Ok, very good. Eh, solo quiero, oh, Mario no estuvo aquí ayer, Jonathan no estuvo Uh, Gómez ya está listo. Teacher, no me quedó espacio para hacerla. Está muy tarde también. Tuve un problemita ahí. Uh -huh. y igual eh, tenía ruido. No podía como contestarle. Uh -huh. okay. Mira, estaba llorando. Estaba llorando un bebé. Ah, oh, ok. ¿Sabe por qué estaba uh -huh. llorando el bebé? Uh, hot. No, no. Mi papá lo van a regañar porque no lleva el tarea, dijo el bebé. ¿Ese estaba llorando? Ah, no. <risa> estaba llorando por eso el bebé, dijo. No, lo no van a regañar. Ok. Ah, pero Dice, hay... Wilf yes. Wilfredo hizo la tarea de todos. Sí. Después Wilfredo. del gran discurso que nos acaba de dar el niño aplicado, o sea, él hizo la tarea de todos. Exacto. Gracias, Wilfredo. Yes. El representante del grupo. Yeah, el representante yeah. tenemos. ¡Bravo, Wilfredo! Ya, yeah, ok. Bien, bien. Es el, único que hizo, ¿eh? el único que hizo la tarea. Así que mañana te lo van a hacer por ti, Wilfredo. Ah, pues, no hago la de ahora. Sí, ya no hago la de ahora. Ok. Um, entonces, es, es, todo está related, ¿verdad? Uh, mission statement, vision statement, en the core values, los values que estamos aprendiendo, ellos están related. So if we don't have a good values, then our mission statement is, is, is going to be a disaster. Yeah? And therefore, our vision will not be something real, it will be something imaginary, something that we hope to, to have in the future. Because if we don't have core values, good values, then our mission statement will be based on nothing. Okay, so it is very important to, uh, for the employees to be in line with the company's core value so they can do a better job and understand the mission statement and the vision of any company. Okay, so we have been talking about mission, uh, uh, vision, and 
Today Core Values. Espero que les salga, eh, quede eso bien plasmado en su mente de Mission, Vision and Core Values. Con solo que se aprenda que la mission is the reason why we, we exist and the vision is we want to where we want to be in the future and the core values, the, the values are what we uh, uh, as a person have and uh, it's, uh, it make our own culture. La próxima cosa es culture. O sea, vamos a mission, vision, values and culture. Eh, Culture is based on your values as well. ¿Sí? ¿Por, qué no tira, ¿Por qué tiramos la basura en la calle? Es en nuestra cultura. Yes. Pero esa cultura está based on qué? En valores, en values. ¿Sí? Si nosotros tiramos eso es porque yes, no tenemos values. Y un niño, ¿por qué es que a Esmeralda la maltrata a un niño en, en la escuela? Porque posiblemente sus padres no 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 respetan a la maestra tampoco sí y entonces el niño va aprendiendo esos valores si dice si mi papá y mi mamá no la respetan yo por qué la voy a respetar pero si tuviera unos valores unos valores allí la cultura sería diferente sí llegaría y, y esmeralda hey nosotros bueno no sé eh, cuántos están aquí posiblemente pueden ser mis hijos ustedes verdad pero cuando cuando yo estaba estudiando, nosotros respetábamos los maestros. El maestro era como nuestros padres. Si el maestro decía, haga 100 planas y hacíamos 100 planas, usted se queda después de la tarea, usted se, se quedaba. Y si le, no le podía decir al papá porque el papá le pagaba uno y ya lo llevaban del maestro. Ajá, maestro, castigué a mi hijo porque dice este y este y este, es cierto. Sí, ahí. Bueno, oh, Me frente. mete en presa si hago eso. Yeah. <ríe> en frente del de maestro ah mira en la casa me la vas a pagar entonces qué hacía uno obedecía a los maestros porque los papás le, le, le daban esos valores a uno entonces eso es la cultura culture culture is based on values entonces si uno no respeta es porque tiene no tiene buenos valores y entonces y como estamos hablando de, de companies that's the reason why companies eh, they do what they do. Yes. Eh, hay compañías que le dan, usted paga por una libre queso y le dan 14 onzas. ¿De dónde viene eso? Yeah. Eh, va a comprar frijoles, compra una libra, le dan 12 onzas. Yeah. ¿De dónde viene eso? Eh, va a comprar algo a la tienda, se lo dan al cliente anterior, se lo dieron en 2 dólares, a usted se lo dan 2.50 carne, usted va a comprar carne a uno de hombre le dan cosa que toda dura y, y ve, yes, son, son valores ¿sí es? son values entonces no hay culture por falta de valores that's the reason it's important to learn these values in case that one day we have our own company and we are going to do things the right way yeah. if we do it the right way everybody will be happy es como cuando está, usted está casado y happy wife, happy home. Yes. Esposa feliz, casa feliz. Yes. Si la esposa no está feliz, nobody is happy. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. Hi, Edgar. How are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm sorry. I left in my home. I stay in, in the traffic. Oh, okay. okay, no problem. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, all of you. Okay, aunque, thank you. Aunque estén tarde, lo importante es que, que, que estemos aquí, right? Yeah, I know that the traffic is very, it's heavy at this, especially this time, this time of the. Okay, yesterday, let's see, we were talking about um, mission statement, right? So this is what we were reading yesterday. Uh, uh, yeah, so let's see. So this is, uh, I don't know if you remember, we were doing this uh, uh, conversation between Diana and Celia, and we did a reading yesterday. And uh, uh, this is what, uh, 
I, I want you guys to, uh, to be reading today and see if we can answer the questions, the questionnaire about this uh, 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 four or three mission statements. We're gonna read the mission statements of successful company. Successful companies are companies that are doing well, yeah? We're gonna match them to the companies on the right and we're gonna compare our answers with uh, uh, everybody else. Okay, so if you see the verb, verb, the verb that we're gonna be using is uh, the verb to be and the verb to bring and the verb to inspire. Remember, what type of verb are this? Uh, Dennis Ramos, verb to be, to bring, to inspire. What type of verbs are there? Sería eh, literal A, ¿verdad? Los tres, los cuatro. Liter B, A, B, C, and D. Uh, we were talking about uh, conjugated verb and infinity verbs. What type of verbs are those? Bueno, el primero que identifico sería el to buy. Sería infinity verb. To be. Uh -huh. Sí. El letter A dice to be. Letter B dice to be. Letter C, it says to bring. To bring. And letter D, it says to inspire. So esos son infinity verbs. Yeah. Verbos infinitivos, de lo que estuvimos uh, uh, hablando ayer. Entonces, uh, vamos a leer eh, el letter A, letter B, letter C, and letter D. Uh, if I can have uh, Wilfredo reading the letter A, please. Of course. Uh, letter A. To be the most customer-centric company in the world where people can find and, and discover anything they want to buy online. Okay, very good. So to be the most customer-centric company, this is, this is their mission statement, see? The reason why they exist is because they want to be, they want the customers to be able to find and discover anything they want to buy online. So that's the reason they exist because uh, they want to serve people who serve the internet. And uh, Jonathan, yes? Can I, I, I can under, understand when say, when I read much them. The most customer centric company in the world where people can find and discover anything they want to buy online. Oh, match them. Aquí arriba. Yes. Match them. Lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a, a match. Match es aparear. See, in el, in el right side, we have uh, four companies. We have Chevron, we have Starbucks, we have Amazon, and we have Nike. These four companies, okay. we're okay, going to read. Understand. Yeah, we're going to read the mission, mission statement and we're going to match them with the mission statement. Okay, the match is, is Amazon. Really? Amazon. Okay, very good. Now let's let's go with the next one. Let it be Maria Jesus Martinez. Okay. Let it be to be the global energy company most admired for its people, partnership and performance. Okay. Let it be says to be the global energy company most admired. Most admire, yeah, for its people, partnership and performance. So they want to be a company that everybody says, oh my goodness, that people who works over there, those people are so nice. Yeah, those people are so friendly. Yeah, that's the reason why they exist. They want to be uh, recognized like that. And also their performance, 
Oh my goodness, those people, they, they don't wait for you to ask them for help. They help you right away. They don't, you know, they just help you on anything you need. So that's what they want. And, and what is the company that matches this uh, mission statement, you think? Chevron. Chevron? Yes. Okay. Chevron. Okay. Very good. Good luck uh, and performance. Very good. Now, let's see, uh, Mario, uh, let us see. Okay. Uh, to bring spiritual and, and innovation to every, every athlete in the world. Okay. To bring inspiration, inspiration, inspiration. and innovation to every innovation. athlete in the world. Okay, let's read it again. To read inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Athlete, athlete. Athlete. In the world, very good. What do you think uh, this one matches? What mission statement matches what company? Nike. Nike, yes, Nike. Nike. Very good, Nike. Nike. Okay, Edgar Pineda. Let it be, please. I can't hear you, uh, Edgar, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. Uh, to inspire and nurture, uh, I'm sorry, to inspire and nurture the human spirit, one person, one cup, and one neighborhood at a time. At a time, at a time. At a time. Okay. Yes, to inspire and nurture the human spirit, one person, one cup, and one neighborhood at a time. So once you say cup, who do you think this uh, mission statement uh, matches what company starbucks starbucks yes very good starbucks one cup right it doesn't say coffee but we know that starbucks is the one who uses cups yeah very good so these are the type of uh, uh mission statement so every time we're going to write a mission statement we're going to start with uh an infinity verb we exist because to be to bring to inspire so this is how you're going to read your mission statement, probably this weekend, right? And you're going to present it on Monday. I'm going to give you the whole week. So next week we can present. Any question about the mission statements? No? Okay. Over here says checks exercise two and three. What verbs are used to write the mission and vision statement? So to make is uh, the... Uh, uh, Infinity verb that we use to write mission statement to become to become the most uh, recognizable uh, company in the world to be to be the best company that people talk about to bring to bring happiness to our customers to inspire the, our customers to do something so those are the infinity verbs that we use to uh, make a mission statement. Also, we have uh, the vision, make, become, be, bring, and inspire. So how do we write the sentences for the mission statement? The form that consists of two plus base form. What is the base form? In this case, we have uh, on, the, on the right side, we have the base form, make, become, be, bring, inspire. So of the verb are called infinitives. So in this case, two is the preposition plus the base form of the verb. So both of them together are called infinity verbs. This is what we were talking about yesterday. So the infinitives are used to express purpose. ¿Se acuerda? Estamos hablando acerca de purpose ayer. The reason why we study English. What is my purpose? Okay, so infinitives are used to express purpose, like in mission statement. 
why does the company exist? That's the, the reason we write uh, infinity verbs. And to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Why do we exist? To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. So, eh, podemos ver la, la mission statement clara ahí, que por qué existe. Entonces sería Nike, ¿verdad? Why do, does Nike exist? To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. So ellos le van a servir a los atletas. That's the reason they exist. So the other reason why we use infinitives, uh, they're also used to express directions where we want to be in the future. So uh, it sounds like uh, we are going to be talking about a vision statement. So like in a vision statements, where is the company going? Where is the company going? Our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. So that will be where they want to be placed in the future. So that's the reason I was telling uh, your uh, co, co uh, um, um, your uh, co uh, it's not co coworker. It's your classmate, your classmate about the mission and why does he exist and where. He wants to be in, in the future, near future. So that is the vision statement. And over here, the vision statement, you can see that is where they want to be in, in the future, near future. They want to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. So you have to put a, a date. Uh, so if you don't put a date, then it's too general. And we, we, we don't want to sound uh, too general. So this is a mission and vision statement. Now we're going to read the statements below and we are going to correct for mistakes related to the use of infinity. Remember, we are trying to use the infinitive to uh, um, uh, convey something or to give the reason why we are doing that. And also for uh, to place a direction like in a vision statement. So if I can have Esmeralda, uh, working on uh, number two, uh, Dennis on number three, Jonathan in number four. Uh, then uh, if I can have uh, Maria, uh, Wilfredo, number five, and uh, Cesar, number six. We're gonna try to find the mistakes. If there is no mistake, you just tell me there is no mistake, teacher. We are going to be in order, teacher. Yeah. We are going to be in order. Yes. Uh huh. The first one is, is done. See, our it's vision uh -huh. is to become the number one provider of office supplies in San Miguel. So over here, what was missing is the two because uh, an infinity verb, you have to have the two and the base form of the verb to become. So now let's see number two. What is the problem in number two? What do you think? Esmeralda. Yes. ¿Qué le pasó a Esmeralda? I think she's thinking. Mm. Okay. Yeah, take, take your time, take your time. Remember, we're working uh, on the uh, number two. Hacerlo, ¿Podría hacer el number, el number three? Three? No uh -huh. sé si, si el, el que le tocó a number three se lo va a regalar. Sí, <laughs> <Y> por eso. <laughs> yeah, en el number, eh, lo único que tenemos que buscar es son los infinitive, ¿verdad? Is two. Si el infinitive está bien eh, está bien usado es es lo que ah, entonces la number two la number one si se fijan number one 
we, uh, we found out that, well, they gave us the answer, que es, uh, porque es que no está, estaba bien. Creería que sí está bien. Our mission is to provide. Okay. Everybody agrees that que está bueno? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next one. I'm number four, who is number three? Mm -hmm. Si sí, puede continue, eh, Jonathan. Eh, I'm number three, eh, pero no identifico el error todavía. Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, in my case, the last one, uh, the sentence uh, uh, is my company. My company's vision is to becoming. The mistake is uh, becoming. Um, um, the, the correct is, uh, I think it is to become, to become the most preferred hair, sal hair salon or adolescent, adolescent. Okay, so, so the first, the second one, um, uh, uh, Esmeralda, Esmeralda said that it was correct, right? And everybody uh, agreed, huh? No? Yeah, I, yo creo que es correcto. Okay, very good, yeah, you're, you're right. And what about the third one? Mm, the third one, uh, creo que le falta el ips is uh, antes de to be okay the third one do you think that uh, is the is is missing yes okay um i think there was the to be we said uh, let's see just a second Okay, one second. We have uh, over here, so can you see it? We have, uh, we aim to be. Number three is yes. we aim to be the number one cleaning service provided for financial institution. Entonces, el, el, uh, el, el infinitive verb is el to be. Lo tendríamos. Is correct. Yes, it is correct. Yes. Uh -huh. uh. Yeah, tenemos aquí el infinitive verb to be. Entonces, uh, number three sería correct. But number four, César, es la que César estaba haciendo, ¿verdad? Eh? Right? No, myself. I... No, no, teacher. What number were you doing? Number. The, the number four is me, I remember. Okay, okay. So is the number four correct? Yes, I think it's correct. You, you think so? Why do you think it's correct? Yes. Because use the the infinity verbs to bring bringing. Infinity verb to bringing. Uh-huh. Ah, es que este no estuvo ayer, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, no estuvo ayer. No estuvo ayer, ya. Yeah. Ok. Number four is incorrect because... It's incorrect, yes. Meaning is, is not in, in... The base form. Base form, base form. Yes. 
So, entonces, ten, we have to, tenemos que quitarle el, este ING, ¿verdad? De esta. Tenemos que quitarle esa. And uh, we, we, we're going to read that we exist to bring tele, telecommunication solutions for businesses in rural areas. Entonces, así leería, María. No bringing. Ese no es un uh, infinitive. Infinitive is... It's incorrect. Uh, incorrect. Okay. Incorrect, yes. Okay, number five. Uh, okay, uh, number five. Uh, the preposition two is means we envision to be leaders in to the be. distribution of energy. Yes, so uh, over here and uh, preposition on B is missing. So two plus base form, right? We envision to be leaders in the distribution of ener energy drinks in the regional market. Todos están viendo eso. It's important que estemos uh, todos poniendo atención acá, okay? Y number six. The, the, the mistake is the state uh, is becoming. There we go, uh -huh. Entonces. Uh, the correct is to become. To become, correct, yes, uh -huh. Entonces, becoming is the problem. Eh, ahí tenemos el to, the preposition, pero eh, tenemos un gerund, gerund uh, ing, y no tiene que ser así, tiene que ser en la base form. So my company's vision is to become the most preferred hair salon for adolescents. Yes, eso sería. Very good, excelente. Alguno que no haya visto eso, que haya dicho, oh my God, yo no sé lo que están hablando. I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, estamos bien? Ok, entonces, uh, eh, Wilfredo, mira lo que dice aquí. Mission statements should be. ¿Qué es should be? Aprendimos que should be es como un advisement, ¿verdad? Un advice, como un consejo. Debería de ser, ¿verdad? No es que tiene que ser, sino que es un advice, es un consejo. Original. ¿Qué quiere decir original? Que tenemos que hacerlo based on our business. Uh, memorable. So people can remember our mission statement. And uh, succinct. Tiene que ser algo de, que, que, que impacte a las personas. And related to the staff. Yes. Tiene que estar related to the staff. Why? Because if the staff is not uh, uh, aware of the mission statement, then the staff are going to do uh, something that they're not supposed to do. There will not be according to the mission statement. And the vision statement should be about the future. Sabemos nosotros que it's about the future because we, is, we are placing our company in where we want to be. And directional, yes, have to be we have to be focused in one direction. Yes, vamos this direction, not backwards. We're forward. We're moving forward, not backwards. And have to be descriptive. Descriptive is because we want to understand it. We want people to, uh, to have a better understanding of the vision statement. So uh, it says over here, present your vision and mission statement to the class. Pero ya lo presentamos, ¿verdad? Dijeron que Wilfredo lo había presentado por todos. Ya lo presentamos. <ríe> Wilfredo solo le hace, oh my goodness. <ríe> ya lo presentó por la clase, entonces ya, ya. Y está grabado. Ya dijeron que lo había presentado por la clase. <ríe> ok, very good. Entonces, let's, uh, eh, eh, tenemos que tomar el tiempo para la tacita de café. I'm going to call roll y nos vamos para... Um, a tomar la tacita de café, ok, y deje ver, tenemos a uh, uh, Carlos Antonio Rosales, no, ok, César Manfredi Cervellón, I'm here teacher, thank you sir, Dennis Vladimir Vázquez, present, thank you, Edgar Ademir Pineda, present, thank you sir, Edwin Alexis Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Eli Moreira. Presente teacher. Thank you. Eric Armando Flores. Eric, no. Okay. Esmeralda Noemi López. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Giovanni Alexander Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Imer Alberto Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Salvador Zavala. Today present teacher. Hey, thank you. Jorge Alberto Orellana. Jorge, no. Okay, Julia Margarita, no. Y María Jesús Martínez, yes. Present. Okay, ahí está todavía, ¿verdad? Okay. Present. Mario Osvaldo. Present. Thank you. Teacher, yes, sir. se me ha el internet, este, no sé si me mencionó Jorge Alberto Orellana. Sí, pero no me contestó. Okay, okay. Ah, sí, es que eh, es nuevo el internet, hemos cambiado de plan y entonces... Ahorita no lo, han, no lo han mejorado. Hay ciertas cosas y es lo que estoy okay. tratando que me hagan eh, okay. remotamente. Ok, no hay problema. Bueno. ¿Y Melissa Esther Orellana? Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Janet Benítez de Berrios. No. Senia eh, Judith Peña. Mm. Y Wilfredo. Manfredi. Present. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's take a break, and I see you in ten minutes. Okay. Enjoy your break.
Hello. Hi, Edgar. Hi, teacher. Okay, how do you feel now after the uh, explanation about the uh, uh, infinity verbs that we have to use for this mission statement? Do you feel better? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's see, just a second. So this is where we left off on the descriptive uh, mission statement. And now what we're gonna be doing is uh, we are going to uh, explain the impact of a core values. Core values is lo que yo estaba explicando al principio. And uh, uh, we're gonna see the impact of the core values in the company cultures and its employees. Culture is lo que estábamos uh, explicando también, que culture is based on the values. Culture is how you uh, interact. Culture is how you behave. Por ejemplo, les dije, ¿por qué tiramos basura en la calle? ¿Verdad? It's, it's culture thing. Por eso uh, nos comportamos de esa manera, por los valores que algunos tenemos. Entonces, uh, we're going to take a look into companies' uh, uh, cultures and based on their values. And... Uh, what are the three personal values you transfer to your interaction with coworkers? Do the company's values impact employees and how? Esas son las preguntas que nosotros vamos a, a contestar con este reading, okay? Entonces, uh, you're gonna listen to the reading, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then we're gonna practice with the partner. Hay dos personas, Mario and Teresa, they're talking about the newsletter they have received in, in the newsletter, it tell, it's telling them about the core values of the company and the culture. So it reads as follows. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? It's not a question que hace Mario. Y Teresa le dice, I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. Entonces los core values Son los que hacen la diferencia entre una compañía y otra compañía. Difference between a company and another company. What do you mean? La expression, what do you mean, es cuando está usted, por ejemplo, confundido. You're confused and you don't know what the other person is telling you. Okay, what do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. Yes, entonces, every time they service a customer or they give a service, they have to apply the innovation, efficiency, and respect to the customer base because these are the, the company's core value. So every time you read about a company's core value, that means that they apply those values to their transactions, every single transaction. And Mario says, I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. And a lot of things that is what happened. The values of the company are different from the way the customers uh, are treated. Y nosotros lo vemos eso en muchas compañías que tratan mal los clientes, nos tratan mal nosotros como clientes. Y si leemos los core values, son totalmente different because uh, people don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave the values that make us different from other company. Cuando dice we should leave, es por ejemplo, tenemos que practicarlos eso, ¿verdad? Tenemos que dar el ejemplo nosotros. Eso es lo que está diciendo. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. Okay, eso es el, el vocabulario que estamos aprendiendo hoy. Innovation, efficiency, respect, uh, core values. Uh, ¿Alguna pregunta de ellos? Estamos bien. Ok, entonces Edgar en Wilfredo, por favor, vamos a hacer la lectura. Ok. Edgar, please, go ahead. Ok. Did you receive, did you receive a newsletter about 
the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We show like the values that make you different from other companies. Okay, very good. Okay, Edgar, uh, let's uh, let's review um, a few words. For example, el primero dice, did you receive, receive? Okay, did you receive? Receive, yes. El otro es el um, donde dice, eh, we know. Por ejemplo, esta que está aquí, también Wilfredo la dijo, la, no la pronunció bien. Este es, we know, know, es de conocer, ¿verdad? We know. Entonces, tenemos esta que está aquí, receive, we know. Y la otra también que necesito que la pronunciemos bien es should. Should. Esta que está aquí, we should, we should. E, y esta que le sigue que es live, live. Yeah. We should live. The values, yeah. Entonces, pongamos atención en esa. Y eh, como son cuatro, uh, with, uh, Edgar, tenemos que hacer la lectura otra vez, ¿ok? Wilfredo solo se, se equivocó una vez. Él pasó, pero uh, contigo tengo, tenemos que um, le, hacer la lectura otra vez. So, if you please uh, read the, uh, read it again, please. Ok. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We show live the values that may use different from other company. Okay, ahora esta me la diste mal. Make us, make, make us. Up. Yeah, pero fue el último error que tuviste, el único. Y um, Wilfredo, volviste a hacer el mismo error. We, we now, dijiste. Este es, Can we, you tell me the, the we, correct we, pronunciation, please? We know, we know. We know. Uh -huh, we know, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, very good. Now switch places, please. Okay. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part are part of our customer service. I see your point. Um, we know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. Okay, very good. Excellent, um, uh, Edgar, idea. Esta, esta palabra es idea. 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 Okay. Y esta es efficiency. 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 Yeah, very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job, Edgar and, uh, and Wilfredo. Thank you for the reading. Now, if I can have uh, Esmeralda and Maria Jesus Martinez do it the reading, please. No. <laughs> mm. Okay. Did you receive a newsletter about the car values? of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? 
I mean, we know innovation, efficiency. Teacher, don't move, please. I'm not moving. <laughs> yeah. <Don't> move. <laughs> okay, again, I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see you, Pan. We know about the value, values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. Ah, we should like the values the make us different from other companies. Okay. Okay. Muchas, <laughs> muchas. <laughs> Ok, empecemos con uh, values. Por favor. Yes. Values, values. Values, values. Yes. Values. Yes, apply, apply. Apply. Mm -hmm. apply, 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 live, apply. Live. Live. Uh, we should live. Esos. Entonces serían, serían tres, sí, no lo pasamos. Y uh, eh, María Jesús, efficiency. Efficiency. Efficiency, yes. And um, let's see, ¿qué otra? Creo que estas, las otras pasan todavía. Ok, vamos a ver otra vez, Esmeralda. Please. Did you receive a newsletter about the core val values of the company? Very good. I, I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. Muy bien. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, uh, fancy, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the, about the values of the company. We're, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. Apply them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no me dejó. <laughs> we shall live the value, my values yes. that make us different from others' company. Yes, we should live, live. We shall live the values. Yes that make us different from other companies. Very good, very good. So, un error to, to, very good, excellent. Okay, now let's switch places, please. Okay. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? Mm -hmm. I did, it's a great, he, I, I did, it's a great idea. Do remember why we are different from other companies? What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, um, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Yes, exactly. We shall leave the values that make us make us different from other companies. Yes, very good, excelente, buen trabajo. Eh, Esmeralda, tenemos idea. Idea, idea. idea. And, and should, should, should. should. Sin no, se no se pronuncia la L. Should, la L, should. Uh -huh. la L should. es duda. Yes. Respect should be part of customer service. Yes, I mean In idea. Yes, I mean we know we know I mean, sabemos, sabemos, yeah, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I mean we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service customer service yes very good excellent good job thank you thank you thank you teacher okay Cesar and Dennis please
César. Ok. Uh, uh, did you receive a new letter about, about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. Okay, very good. Um, eh, Dennis, aquí solamente marqué we porque no me lo dijiste. So dijiste, why are different from other companies? Quizás no lo pudiste ver. Eh, solo tuviste, eh, esta es efficiency. 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 Y, y César, efficiency. acuérdate que la T-H-E es the or the, pero the, no the. Ah, okay, the values. The yeah, values. The values, yeah, very good. Excelente. Okay, switch places, please. Uh, did you did you receive, receive uh, a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the companies, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave the values that make, make us different from other companies. Very good, excellent, good job. Good job, uh, Dennis. And good job, uh, César. Solo acuérdate, César, el de no existe. Tiene que ser da or the. Okay. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Other than that, very good. Good job. Uh, Gómez y Jorge Alberto, please. Okay. Hello. Uh, uh, este no, 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 ver todo. ¿Sí? no se ve todo el, el, el contenido no se ve ok es la culpa de Wilfredo <risa> bueno voy ok, okay. Did, did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company <risa> No me sale otra vez. No escucho. Ah, oh. ah, ok. Repito, ok. Did you receive a new, a new letter about the, the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you what do you mean? I mean we know innovation, efficiency and respect should be a part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should lead the values that make us different from other companies. Ok, very good. Excellent. Aquí me, me, en la última, eh, eh, Jorge, me, me pronunciaste bien values, pero al principio no. Values. Eh, Jacob. 
Yes, a Jacob, yes. Jorge Gómez, ¿verdad? Gómez, values. Eh, Jorge, hay días. Eh, en the internet. Jorge, yes. I just, I, I say correct the, the no. word. Es the internet. Es, es María, María. Efficiency. <laughs> efficiency. Uh, da. Efficiency. Yes, yeah, dicen de todavía. Es da. Y apply. 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 Ok. Apply. Eh, empecemos apply. otra vez. Ok. Borrón y cuenta nueva, ¿sí? Vamos a empezar de usted. Ok. Ok, go ahead. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be a part of all customer service. I see your point. We know about that values of the company but maybe we don't apply them exactly we should lead the values the values that make us different from other companies Very good, excellent. Solo uno, cada uno tuvieron, así es que si lo pasamos. Efficiency, uh, Jorge. Efficiency. 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 I mean, we know innovation, efficiency. <laughs> no, tú, lo, eh, tú dices fiance. Mira, Wilfredo, yo creo que algo nos quiere decir. Fiance es efficiency. una comprometida, ¿eh? Fiance. Fiance, algo nos quiere decir, pero no quiere así abiertamente, ¿verdad? Efficiency. Dilo, Jorge. Efficiency. Ok. Y la otra, Gómez, sería da. Da. Da, sí. Ok. Efficiency and respect should be a part of our customer service. Sí, efficiency. Very good. Ok, let's uh, switch places. Ok. <coughs> Did you receive a new list, new, sorry, again. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation efficiency and respect should be part of our customer service i see your point we know about the values of the company but maybe we be don't apple them exactly We should like the values that make us different from the others' company. Okay. Leave, leave, leave. Don't apply them. What is apply, apply, apply them. them. Yes. And like, leave. 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 Very good. Y lo demás, estamos, estamos bien. Excelente. Buen trabajo. Good job. Excelente. Vamos a, a ver, um, let's see, Emer. Si puedo tener Emer y Edwin Rodríguez, sí, dígame. Esmeralda Noemí. No, es que también quería participar. Sí, 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 está bien. Entonces, uh, Emer, si me puedes ayudar. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great 
idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't appreciate them. Exactly. We should leave the values that make us differ from other companies. Okay, very good. Apply them, uh, Emer. Don't apply, apply them. Apply, apply them. Applicar them. Um, okay, very good. Uh, switch places. Hello? Se nos fue? Sorry. Se nos fue, ¿ah? ¿eh? Sí. Emer se nos fue, ¿verdad? Mm. Él inicia, Edwin iniciaría. Ah, ok, ok, perdón, perdón. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. Okay. Uh... Vamos a ver, uh, Edwin, newsletter, newsletter. Newsletter. Yes, so entonces va a decir, did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? Leo? Okay, okay. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? Very good. Uh, Emer, I did. It's a great idea. 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 It's a great idea. To remember why we are different from other companies. To remember why we are different from other companies. Companies, yes. Companies. Companies. Yes. What do you mean, uh, Edwin? What do you mean? What do you mean? Very good. Uh -huh. Y después aquí abajo, que es eh, eh, Edwin, otra vez, I see your point. We know about the, no de, acuérdate. We, we know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Okay. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Very good. Excellent. Ahí estamos bien. Entonces ahí estamos. Very good. Good job. Good job. Gracias, a Edwin en Emer. ¿Qué más tenemos? ¿Alguien más que no haya participado? Ok. Entonces vamos a ver. Um, discuss, the, uh, discuss the answers to the question below. Tenemos, what strategy does Teresa and Mario's company use to promote its core values? ¿Cuáles son las strategies? Strategies son estrategia, ¿verdad? Does Teresa and Mario's company use to promote its core values? ¿Qué estrategias usan ellos? What strategies? Innovation, efficiency, and respect. Yes, innovation, efficiency. Efficiency. <laughs> eso, eso. Eso, 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 yes. Efficiency and respect, very good. And are Mario and Teresa positively impacted by the company's 
values and how. How are they impacted? Jonathan, eres parte de la clase. Te estoy haciendo una pregunta. Bien. Sorry, sorry, teacher. No, that's yes. okay. Yes. I'm printing the, the manual. The question is, are Mario and Teresa positively impacted by the company's value and how? Positively impacted. O sea, si les impactó esa newsletter, ¿qué es lo que, cómo los impactó a ellos? Because it's, it should be part of the customer service. No. I don't know. No. Edgar, ¿cómo? Edgar, number two. Number two. Don't apply it. Uh, I see, well, yes. maybe we don't apply them. Yes, yes, they know the core values. They know the values of the company, but uh, we don't apply them. So it was positive, right? Our yeah. Mario and Teresa positively impacted by the company values. Yes, positivamente porque ellos dijeron, oh my God, lo sabemos, pero no los aplicamos. Entonces, we are going to apply them. Yes, eso es lo, lo how they were impacted by it positively. Okay, very good, excelente. Now, tenemos aquí lo que estuvimos uh, discutiendo al principio, efficiency, innovation, respect, punctuality, service to others, integrity, loyalty, and responsibility. Entonces, uh, tomorrow, eh, mañana, I, I want you to bring me a sentence for each of these uh, values, efficiency, innovation, respect, punctuality, service to others, integrity, loyalty, and responsibility. Or you can give me uh, for each of them one definition. What is efficiency? What is innovation? What is respect? What is punctuality? What is service to others? What is integrity? What is loyalty, responsibility? Okay, um, para tomorrow. And I'm gonna call roll y nos vamos a, a despedir. I'm sorry, yo sé que ustedes quieren quedarse más tiempo, pero no, 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 we can't, we can't stay, stay more time, okay? Uh, Carlos Antonio Rosales, no? Cesar Manfredi Cervellón Sánchez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Dennis Vladimir Vázquez Ramos. Present. Thank you, Edgar Edemir Pineda, Pineda. Present. Thank you, Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you, Emerson Eli Moreira Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Eric Armando Flores Linares. Teacher, me escucha. Eh, Emerson Eli, sí, escuché. Ah. Ah, ok, es que estoy probando unos audífonos. Qué rato, pero no sabía si me escuchaban. Sí, sí, los de la Emerson Eli Moreira López, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Ok, Eric Armando Flores Linares. No. Esmeralda Noemí López. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Giovanni Alexander Ramos Jiménez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Email Alberto Sánchez. Sánchez. Okay, thank you. And uh, Jacobo de Jesús. Are you? Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan Salvador Zavala. 
Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Alberto Rellano Martinez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Julia Margarita, no. Eh, María Jesús Martínez López. Present. ¿Qué pasó? No fui yo, fue otra persona. Ok. ¿Alguien tiene encendido el micrófono? Yeah. Mario Osvaldo Martínez. Present. Ok, thank you. Mario, uh, Melissa Esther. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Sandra Janet Benítez. Senia eh, Judith Peña Díaz. Y Wilfredo Antonio Luna Sosa. Present. Thank you. Ok, uh, le toca a César Wilfredo. Stay with me for 10 minutes. And uh, the rest of you, I see you tomorrow. Don't forget about the homework. Acuérdese, definition for cada uno de los cada Okay, tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Thank you, everyone. See you tomorrow. Right. Have a good night. Good morning. Okay, drink a cup of coffee. And Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Miranda. You have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Okay, Cesar Manfredi. Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Eh, me gustó su mission statement, nada más que no estaba adaptada a lo que estábamos hablando, ¿verdad? Porque no, era como, como que ya sabía usted de lo Ajá. que estaba hablando, pero no, no bien, bien eh, eh, orientado a lo que tratábamos de hacer. Tratábamos de hacer algo que, ¿por qué existíamos? y dónde queríamos estar para poder hablar mm. acerca de los core values los core values ah, okay. son importantes ¿no? y, ah, yeah. y cuénteme cómo se ha sentido últimamente con el inglés um, I'm fine I I I have the how do you say a uh, 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 Tengo el deseo de seguir aprendiendo. I have the desire to keep learning. I have the desire to keep learning. Uh -huh. to keep learning, yes. Uh -huh. And I I would like I would like uh, um, um, practice uh, conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and the, the reason see um, I don't know if you have noticed uh, um, that the approach of uh, the methodology that we're using now is because you you guys already have the ability to talk now what I'm trying to do is mm -hmm. to transfer the information that you have up here into paper mm -hmm. and that's the reason I give you those, uh, those uh, exercises so or those homework, so you can write, you can write, you can transfer the information from here to the papers, and that will uh, make it, uh, your learning process easier. Porque usted va a pensar lo que quiere escribir, ya, y va a estar poniendo todo lo que tiene en su mente en un papel, y luego en la clase usted lo va a expresar a sus compañeros. Se fijó que el ejercicio de la mission en the vision statement era que usted le dijera a sus compañeros que era un mission and a vision statement. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I think, I, I think uh, the mission and vision statement uh, is about uh, uh, for, uh, for my company, for my job. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't talk. Uh, the, uh, it was a personal personality. You thought was a, a, you didn't think uh, it was a, a, a mission statements about your person. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, it could be. Uh, teacher, excuse me. Yeah, go ahead, please. Go ahead. No, uh, what, what, uh, 
what what are the topics uh, uh, we we learning in in this uh, module? The topics we are learning in this module, we have different topics. Uh, um, for example, uh, let me show you the topics uh, um, that we have to learn in every, um, for example, this, uh, let's see, let me show you that uh, just a second. Let me share that with you. Um, let's see. See, this is, uh, this is uh, the uh, unit one. In this unit, we are going to be learning about the state and effective business mission and vision statement. So we were talking about mission and vision statement. And uh, the other topic is to e explain the impact of core values. This is the topic, core values of the company, culture, and its employees. So we have to learn mm -hmm. how these core values and the culture affects employees or help employees mm -hmm. to become a mm -hmm. better employers, employees. And mm -hmm. we are also, we are going to lear be learning how to describe uh, the departments within the company. For example, accounting department, uh, uh, administration department, uh, human resources uh, department uh, within the organization. So we're gonna be talking about departments. And last, uh, assignment for this uh, uh, chapter, it will be, we're gonna write a short paragraph about the reputation of the company. See, esto, this is what oh. we are learning on the first chapter. And uh, okay. the second chapter, uh, let me show you what is the second chapter, chapter number two. Okay, let's see, chapter... See, this is chapter number two. We're gonna exchange information about campus's expertise, industrial classification, mm -hmm. and where it, where it operates. So different mm -hmm. point of view about the companies. Mm -hmm. Also, we're gonna introduce personal providing information about their position. So in the case that you are a CEO, CEO in the company, or if mm -hmm. you are a manager or, or just an administrator of the company, you're gonna give information about what do you do as administrator? What do you do as a, as a CEO, the chief executive mm -hmm. officer of the company? And mm -hmm. we also gonna describe what a networking experience is the business uh, events. Networking means a, a talking to other the owners of companies. That mm -hmm. is a, a network between you guys. And uh, the last topic is gonna be, we're gonna engage in a small talking using variety of topics. Todos los tópicos que eh, vamos a aprender en el primero y en el segundo chapter, los vamos a discutir en una, en una conversación. Eh, mm -hmm. entonces, este libro es, es bien bonito. No sé si ya lo, ya lo bajó y lo imprimió. Sí, eh, eh, no, no, no lo imprimo, lo, lo, lo mantengo en, en, la, en, en la vista, de la, en la computadora. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. No, 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 no les imprimo, pero sí lo, ya, ya lo tengo, ya lo bajé. Ok, ok. Eh, mi recomendación es que lo lea antes de cada, cada sesión para que más o menos se tenga una idea de qué es lo que ah, okay. está hablando y uh, para dónde vamos. Sí, porque sí son, son tópicos bien, uh, no son tan fáciles los tópicos esos, son, son, van más allá de lo que requiere el programa de inglés. Es bueno para ustedes porque aprenden más de lo que tienen que aprender y okay. están preparándose para cualquier tipo de conversación con cualquier tipo de gente. Entonces, ah, ok. Yes. Okay. Congratulations, César Manfredi, and thank you for your participation. Um, I like the way you, you speak in, in, in the class. Um, if, if, you don't, uh, if you don't know a word, don't worry. I will be there to help you. I'm going to help you um, like in pronunciation or trying to figure out a word. I will be there for you, okay? I promise you. And okay. uh, uh, just keep, uh, keep up with the good work. That's it. Okay. Okay. okay.
All right. Thank you. Thank you. And I see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. See okay. you tomorrow. Bye-bye.